That's so Gucci, you might have used or listened to this phrase to appreciate any fashion or brand quality. Well, that's the power of the most renowned fashion brand Gucci by Gucci Gucci. Since its establishment in 1921, the brand has been a fashion landmark in the industry. With its exclusive craftsmanship to the brand becoming a symbol of eccentricity, Gucci has been justifying its popularity with its glitter fashion products. Gucci is a brand that is on everyone's wish list. Along with Gucci's all unignorable strengths like its classic millennial design, superb quality, and solid brand awareness with 500 plus showrooms across the globe. Diversity in its product, rational marketing strategies, and skilled and tech-friendly workforce that surely help it to skyrocket its growth with every single step it takes. Some weaknesses and threats can significantly contribute to its downfall if not solved. In this video, you will be listening to the possibility of Gucci being reignited again after an unexpected loss occurred in its 2021 financial reports. According to various critics and reports, analysis of the primary reason is the brand's unawareness and lack of measures taken for its weakness and threats. Now the first aspect that brings the need for change in Gucci can indeed create an opposite impact on Gucci, as expected, are the threats evident in today's availing market. The first threat is the ease of product duplication. You might have seen local shops selling identical products designed by the brand at cheaper rates. This is the best example of product duplication. Due to the increase in technology, duplicating or imitating the already designed product at a lower cost is a business of the left hand. This is a significant threat that Gucci can face. Another threat is that high-end sky reached competition like Prada, Armani, and Christian Dior in the same industry at par with Gucci in terms of popularity, quality, and market shares. This is the emerging threat of Gucci that can decrease the craze of Gucci with its numerous substitutes in the same market. Although Gucci's millennial collection has been its USP still, there are chances that people may find it a better option to swap the product rather than invest in something that is of higher price. Continuing the threats, the last evident threat for Gucci can be sudden unfavorable changes in laws and policies of the government or any market environmental change that can take Gucci to an unexpected inverse level with a significant loss. And even things can take a route for the worst case, which can even be a stoppage in the production of its existing products. Now, as it is much discussed about the top three threats around Gucci, let's visit the major weakness following Gucci. The first factor proven as a core weakness is the lack of research and development. Due to sliding down in terms of proper research and development work, the brand still needs to be aware of the cost analysis between itself and the competitive brands already winning in the market. Due to this, it is stopping itself from taking the corrective measures that can positively impact Gucci's growth. Another factor in Gucci's intense weakness is the higher incurred cost for market investments than the market competitors. Also, it has been noticed that Gucci needs to present itself as more assertive in the market with a lack of training and development plan. Continuing the brand's weaknesses, the subsequent liability aroused due to the lack of research and customer surveys is frequent advertisements that result in controversial or hurt sentiments. Numerous advertisements are even categorized as projects to objectify women. This directly impacts customer impression and sales conversion. Due to the repetition of the same mistake, the brand has already faced boycotts by many people. An example of Gucci's. Weaknesses like needing more research and development, competition analysis, training and development process, controversial and pinpointing advertising, and liquidity issues are the primary reason for its less than expected speed of growth. As there is less work on weaknesses as the brand is exposed to its strengths. Gucci's story inspires millions of people to turn their dreams into reality. Despite all the threats and weaknesses mentioned earlier, Gucci is still a top choice and maintains its perseverance as an excellent brand in terms of quality. In the further video, we'll discuss what makes Gucci a renowned brand. Gucci has a product crafted exclusively. Gucci follows an excellent marketing approach that significantly boosts its growth and popularity. Gucci holds a global reputation. Gucci is the most popular brand, and one of the reasons is that Gucci holds a global presence. Not just in the fashion world, Gucci spreads its wings to the makeup, music, and furniture industry as well. From 1921, handcrafted leather bags for travel to having a tremendous global presence, Gucci has successfully maintained its reputation along with all the odds. 
Gucci equals wealth. Gucci has only higher upper class clients. This is another excellent marketing strategy of Gucci for its ultra popularity. Gucci does not cater its product to everyone who comes to them, but to only those who want to pay as much as possible for a single product. Gucci's excellent marketing strategy. Gucci has a categorization marketing strategy that segments its customers into groups. With this strategy, Gucci can make a product that fits its customer in all categories. The brand has practiced the strategy for many years, and it works exceptionally well because, in the end, it's all about customer satisfaction. What can be better than diversifying customers and producing products per their needs and wants? Gucci's categorization marketing strategy includes demographic, geographic, behavioral, and psychographic categories. Demographic categorization strategy, Gucci mainly focuses on high-end customers aged 20 to 50. This demographic category helps the brand to know more about the customers. In addition, this category focuses on gender, age, income, religion, and nationality. Geographic categorization strategy, demand for Gucci is way higher and still increasing in Asia, America, and Europe. 92% of the products are targeted at these religions, and the remaining 8% are spread out to different places. Behavioral categorization strategy deals with customers' behaviors towards a particular product or service. Gucci is very well aware of behavioral tendencies and the ability to influence them. Psychographic categorization strategy. Here are some more ultimate strategies Gucci has followed for years, which make Gucci's growth commendable. Gucci's Influencer Marketing Strategy Trend-Driven Strategy This makes Gucci the best and most satisfactory brand. These strategies have played a significant role in its great success. Here is how Gucci has benefited from its ultimate strategy. Increased Global Presence High-End Customer Customer Satisfaction Apart from its great strategies, some approaches make the approach undeniable. Lack of geographical focus. In recent years, studies have shown that geographic marketing is a massive weakness of Gucci because this strategy only focuses on foreign countries. Frequent reappointments. As per the stats, Gucci has a history of constantly changing its designer and directors. This makes the brand constantly change its focus on new projects and ideas. High strategy expenses. Gucci has excellent and unique strategies to beat the competition and maintain its position but it is very costly for the brand. In 2021, Gucci had an excellent finish with a growth of 35.2% from the previous year. Gucci's five moves to dominate 2022. The importance of menswear. In 2022, things have changed and the brand plans to invest in menswear categories and expand them. Reassuring traditional values. Gucci isn't just about creative seasonal introductions, but Gucci is about codes, craft ships, values, and iconic lines too. Retail will be increased direct to customers. Gucci wants to improve the presence of more high-end products and, above all, without raising prices all at once. It is clearer why Gucci is so famous and what makes this brand huge. Moreover, this brand has pledged to become more sustainable in its manufacturing in the coming years. In this video, we have talked about why Gucci is a well-known brand and what makes it so grand, and we have also learned about Gucci's marketing strategies, strengths, threads, and weaknesses and how Gucci is making changes to convert its weakness into strengths. The onus is on Gucci to continue to drive newness so that consumers can turn their heads and say, wow, this is something I don't have. I want to buy it, Salka. I hope this video gives you enough insights into Gucci and makes you aware of what goes behind it and how marketing can become a game changer for any brand. Stay tuned if you find this video worth your time and makes you more curious about how brands work and what makes them stand out. Such unique and insightful videos are coming your way.